Hi guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today is kind of been a long time coming. Uh, today I'm gonna make for you a sidecar, which is a drink that everybody should know. Um, as with most cocktails, the exact origins of this cocktail are pretty shrouded in mystery. Uh, we know that it started being shown in print around 1922. Uh, it was uh, definitely printed by Harry McElhone in his cocktails, his, his, sorry, his book, uh, Harry's uh, ABCs of Mixing Cocktails, and then also Robert Vermeer's Cocktails and How to Mix Them. Uh, and in the first edition of Harry McElhone's book, he uh, cites Pat McGarry, the celebrated bartender of Bucks Club in London as the creator, but then in later versions of his books, in later editions, he cites himself as the creator of the drink. And uh, Robert Vermeer uh, has also cited McGarry as the creator of the drink. Um, that's it. That's all I got to tell you about it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to rub just a half, half of the glass with lemon juice, and then we're going to crust it with sugar. The only garnish for this drink is a sugar rim. I chose kind of a weird shaped glass. Here, do it like that. Try and get it all on there, right? So it was a little bit hard to get there, but we got it on there. I like to shake off the excess. There you go. And then we're just gonna do, that's not correct, that was pineapple juice. Uh, half an ounce of lemon juice. Pretty simple cocktail, one ounce of Cointreau. And an ounce and a half of cognac. Fill our shaker with ice. Mix it, lock the tin, give it a good hard shake. These tins are giving me grief. Well, at least I got a good lock. There, Jesus. There we go. And then this is something I am going to want to double strain. There you go, the sidecar. Now, this is a drink that a lot of bartenders say this, the specs of this drink and how bartenders make them really is a testament to the skill of the bartender because this is a very contested drink. Some people love it, some people really hate it. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of sugar content in it. It's really just an ounce of Cointreau. And while Cointreau is a sweet liqueur, it's also a very dry liqueur. So you get kind of a dry flavor to it. Anyway, I just wanted to give that as a little parting note. But there you have it, the sidecar.